Hello, my name is Kevin, and I'm going to show you the basics of F Backup 4. So let's install it. Well, I've already. Alright, let's skip. Alright, so let's open it. Boom. That's what you get. Alright, let's ignore those two. So let's go to a new backup. New. Alright, so I'm going to call this one my pictures and it's going to be on local and choose where you want to save your backup let's go to my iomega drive and let's pick backup for video this video of course so let's go next so let's, this is where you add your folders or files. So let's pick my computer. No. Let's go to my pictures. Let's do the entire thing since there isn't a lot. Let's go, you don't really need to worry about this, but if you want to look at it, temporary files, it'll just ignore them or you can include them next. Do you want to make it a full or a mirror? If you make it a full it'll put it into a zip file all in one zip file or if you mirror it it'll make it a folder and then it'll just be like that not compressed. So let's put it a mirror so because it, it's faster. So this is where you schedule how often so let's put daily and let's put 10 p.m no password, it's fine. So let's go save and run. Do you, like to activate a black pa do you like to activate blank passwords in your system? Let's put yes. The task has been configured with an unsupported combination of account settings and runtime. That's not really a big deal, but anyways, that'll kick in in a second. So we got preparing a shadow copy. Files I am backing up are in this folder right here. My library pictures. It's just nothing serious. I don't even really use it. I don't know how they got there. So that'll just go through. And where it's getting backed up would be in this folder right here it'll pop up once it starts adding. So there it goes. The reason it says C is because it's backing up from my C drive. Alright, so we got users, my name, pictures, there's all the files here. So if I back up, here's my pictures, that's the catalog and that's how. That's pretty much this entire catalog for this. Because if you it said down here, building catalog doesn't take long. Nothing big. If you want to restore, you can. Doesn't really matter. Oh, let's, let's let's. I'll delete these and keep that one picture. Let's continue. Delete them. All right. So let's restore this one, the one I just made. Alright, we went in its original location. We want to restore the latest and we can restore excluded and deleted files. And here you can choose the priority of it's more of a how fast you want it to come back. It's normal priority or high, but it'll it will use more resources on your computer. So let's finish. And those are already back. It wants to know if I want to replace this one. I'm going to press overwrite here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter in this case, but you can either skip it or overwrite it. So let's overwrite it. Overwrite all. Don't know why I want to do it twice. I didn't really feel like sitting here to read it. So now that it's back, that's how you know your backup is still good. And it'll stay here if you want it for future. So if you want it, if you want it to just start running right off, you just come back in here. 
o open this up again press backup and so let's say I throw this song in here if I press backup I'll start backing up all these files again the exact same files Okay, what it did was it only backed up the one file that was new. Go to advance, file is ready for archiving. So that's how you know that one's good. I just did this backup with this file. So if I delete this and this, I can just restore, finish, skip all. There. I didn't back and I did not back up the other one, but I deleted it. And that's pretty much the basics of this program.